When two friends turned rivals throw down at the most epic spot in the ninja world, you know it's about to get intense. Naruto's here to bring his friend back, while Sasuke's trying to break free from everything that ties him down. It's time for these two to settle things once and for all. The scene is set. At the Valley of the Inn, a legendary battleground between two giant statues, Maduro Uchiha and Hashirama Senju. This place has a history of epic clashes, and now, Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha are about to make their own mark. Sasuke is on the brink of leaving the Hidden Leaf Village to gain power from Orochimaru, while Naruto is here to stop him. For Naruto, this isn't just a fight, it's a desperate attempt to save his friend. He refuses to let Sasuke walk down a dark path, even if it means fighting him to the bitter end. Sasuke, on the other hand, is determined to cut ties with everything holding him back. He believes that leaving Konoha is the only way to gain power. He need gain the power he needs to achieve his goal of revenge. It's friend versus friend and there's no turning back. How did two teammates go from saving each other to throwing punches on a giant waterfall? Naruto's trying to bring Sasuke back while Sasuke's dead set on chasing power no matter the cost. Naruto has always seen Sasuke as more than just a teammate, he's like a brother. Ever since they were kids, Naruto has looked up to Sasuke even when they were rivals, but now as Sasuke tries to leave the village, Naruto is determined to stop him. Naruto knows what it's like to feel alone and misunderstood, and he refuses to let Sasuke go down a dark road. For Naruto, this fight is about bringing his friend back home. Sasuke, on the other hand, is consumed by his desire for revenge. After witnessing the massacre of his clan by his brother Hitachi, Sasuke has made it his life's mission to gain enough power to kill Itachi. He believes that staying in the village and keeping ties with friends will only hold him back. So Sasuke, cutting ties with Naruto and the others is a necessary step to achieving the power he needs. As Naruto and Sasuke face off at the Valley of the Inn, the air is so thick with tension you could cut it with a kunai. Will Naruto's determination be enough to break through to Sasuke or is Sasuke too far gone to listen? Naruto stands on the edge of a waterfall. He's locked on Sasuke. He doesn't want to fight, but he knows that the words alone aren't going to bring Sasuke back. Naruto's heart is heavy with the weight of what's about to happen. He's tried everything to get through to Sasuke, but now it seems like the only way to make him understand is through their fist. The rest of their friends are miles away, unable to reach them in time. Naruto knows that if he doesn't stop Sasuke here and now, he might lose him forever. He clenches his fist, ready to do whatever it takes to save his friend. Sasuke on the other hand is cold and determined. He sees Naruto's attempts to stop him as nothing more than a hindrance. To him, Naruto can't possibly understand the pain and hatred that drives him. Sasuke's eyes glow with the power of his cursed mark, a symbol of the dark path he's chosen. He's ready to sever his bonds with Naruto, believing it's the only way to gain the strength he needs to defeat Itachi. When Naruto's fist of friendship clash with Sasuke's rage-filled strikes, it's not just a battle, it's a clash of ideals. Naruto's fighting to save a friend, but Sasuke's fighting to break free. Let's see who's got the stronger will. The battle begins with Naruto charging in, his fist flying and his heart on fire. He's not holding back. He knows that he's going to bring Sasuke back. He has to go all. Sasuke meets him head on, using the Sharingan to predict Naruto's moves and counter with precision. Their attacks shake the valley as they go toe to toe, each giving everything they've got. Naruto uses every trick in his arsenal, from his Shadow Clone Jutsu to his Rasengan. He's relentless, refusing to let Sasuke leave without a fight. Naruto, Naruto's attacks are driven by his emotions his desire to protect his friend and bring him back to the village. He throws punch after punch, his determination filling every move. 
Sasuke, however, isn't holding back either. He taps into the power of the curse seal, enhancing his strength and speed. With his Sharingan gun fully activated, he dodges Naruto's attacks and counters with his own devastating moves. Sasuke's movements are precise and deadly, showing just how far he's willing to go to sever his bond with Naruto. As the battle rages on, Sasuke unleashes his full power, but Naruto's not giving up. With every punch and every kick, they're tearing through each other's resolve. It's about to get real. Sasuke taps into the stage two of his curse seal, transforming into a monstrous form with dark wings and increased power. His attacks become even more brutal, and he starts using techniques like the Chidori to try to finish Naruto off. Sasuke's eyes are filled with a cold determination. He's no longer holding back, and he's ready to do whatever it takes to break free. Naruto, battered and bloody, refuses to give up. He taps into the power of the Nine-Tailed Fox within him. His eyes turning red and his energy spiking. Red chakra swirls around him as he charges at Sasuke with newfound strength. Naruto's attacks become more fierce and unpredictable, matching Sasuke blow for bow. The valley shakes as their powers collide, each trying to overpower the other. The water roars beneath them, and the sky darkens as they unleash their most powerful techniques. It's clear that this battle isn't just about strength, it's about the bond between them and the pain that comes with it. With their powers pushed to the limit, it's time for the final clash. Will Naruto's determination to save his friend be enough, or is Sasuke's resolve to walk his own path too strong to break? Naruto gathers his remaining strength forming a Rasengan with the power of the Nine Tails, He charges at Sasuke, his eyes full of determination. He's not just fighting to win, he's fighting to bring Sasuke back, to remind him of their bond. This is his final chance to reach his friend. Sasuke, with his Chidori crackling in his hand, prepares to meet Naruto head on. This is the moment he's been waiting for, the moment he severs his ties with his past. He believes that to gain true power, he has to cut off everything that holds him back, including his bond with Naruto. The two clash in a burst of energy, Rashingan meeting Chidori in an explosion that rocks the entire valley. The water below surges and the shockwave sends ripples through the air. For a moment, everything is silent, and then the dust begins to settle. The battle's over, but the scars it leaves behind are deep. Naruto gave it his all to save Sasuke, but sometimes even the strongest bonds can break. As the dust clears, Sasuke stands over a fallen Naruto. He's won the battle, but he knows it wasn't just about winning. He looks down at Naruto, his expression conflicted. Despite everything, he can't deny the bond they share. But for now, Sasuke turns away, choosing to walk his own path toward revenge. Naruto, lying on the ground, is left with the pain of failure. He gave everything to bring Sasuke back, but it wasn't enough. As Sasuke walks away, Naruto makes a silent promise to himself. This isn't over. He'll keep fighting to save his friend, no matter how long it takes. The first battle at the Valley of the End marks a turning point for both Naruto and Sasuke. It's a fight that defines their journey, shaping them into the ninjas they will become. Naruto learns that sometimes saving someone isn't as simple as winning a fight, and Sasuke, despite his victory, is left with a haunting reminder of what he's left behind. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. See you tomorrow. Peace.